What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different in this particular video and it has to do with a giveaway. As you guys know, it has been approximately six to eight months since I do not complete a giveaway. So today we're going to be announcing it here for the M Horse Pure 2. This is a very decent product that came from China. It has four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal memory, the octa-core processor, it has dual cameras, the 5.99 inch display, 4,000 million battery, fingerprint scanner, Android 7.0 Nougat, and much, much more. So all you have to do to be eligible is first of all, be subscribed to my channel if you haven't done so. You must comment below, like the video, and also share the video in order to be eligible. And I'm talking about this particular video and any other video that I complete from now on until the giveaway ends. I should be announcing the giveaway winner in approximately two to three weeks. So make sure that you guys stay active. And again, guys, the winner will be selected randomly. So the more active you stay in my channel, the better will be for you. And then of course here we have the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. This is the real one from T-Mobile and it's going to be compared here to the first Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus replica that I received from China. So getting a look here at the boxes, we can tell how close they are. Now keep in mind guys that I got this product right here almost two months before the release and the announcement of the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So this one came a very long time ago and the Chinese already knew how the box was gonna be. As you guys can tell so far, the only difference here is going to be the fonts. Just look at that guys, very, very close. They even knew that it was going to have the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus written on the side right there. And on the bottom, you can see that even the memory capacity was gonna be almost identical. So they were almost spot on. And now this is something that I haven't seen in the past to where they were able to also replicate the boxes. I never seen anything like it, so I am very, very excited about this. So here from the sides, you can see they are almost identical. Then in the back, well, they change a little bit. And now keep in mind that, well, there's an international model. And then this one here in particular is for uh, T-Mobile. So that could change from time to time. So, um, you know, the back side doesn't really mean anything, but at least the front side, they knew almost everything. So here I have held all my temptations guys to open the S9 Plus from T-Mobile and to prove it. Here you guys can see that it is completely sealed right there. I haven't cheated whatsoever. It is not open right now. I can try to open it. So that way you guys don't think that I've been cheating and I'm gonna break the seal right now. So there we go. Um, you can see the box is the same flip box as we saw here from this particular clone. This is the first clone that I received. If you guys haven't watched the video, I will be leaving the link below so that way you can go ahead and check it out. And I know that right now there's a lot of videos out there uh, covering this, so I'm gonna be very brief here with the box. So here we have the uh, manuals, we have you know the booklets, we have the uh, SIM rejected tool, and all that bull crap that comes with the um, smartphone, especially from Samsung. You know that Apple likes to keep it very simple. And here in the inside, we have the phone. This is the blue color version. Let's go ahead and check here the divider. Okay, we can see that it is just a standard divider, something that we have seen in the past. Then it comes with a charger. Inside here, we have the earphones and the USB cable. In case you guys want to look at them, here they are. So now what I want to do here is leave this aside for a second. And now we're going to open here the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 box. So as you guys can tell, first of all, it does slide almost the same way as the real one. Or actually the same way. There's no differences right there. Then the box opens here from the side the same way that we saw from the real one. And we even have the IMEI information and everything written here. But of course, on the real one, it's going to be a little bit more detailed. Now here we have the fake. It's been covered by this plastic, something that, well, Samsung would not do. So this is a great way to spot if you have a fake or not. So here we can see we have the divider, okay? And it is very similar to the one from uh, T-Mobile at least. And then inside here we have the manuals for the fake one, okay? And here we can see it right there. We have just a little uh, quick start guide, very typical from the Chinese clone makers. Then we have the chargers. Let's go ahead and do here a brief comparison between them. Okay, so there we can see it. We have both of the chargers look very, very close to each other, guys. Okay, almost identical, but of course, one is gonna have the real fast charging capabilities. The other one is not gonna have the fast charging capabilities. So again, this is another great way to just spot them right away that you're buying a, a fake one. Also notice here how the um, Samsung logos are quite different. This one is nice and 
bolded with nice and crispy colors. This one looks kind of faded. So there we can see it. Um, let's see what else we have in here. We have the earphones. Okay, these are definitely fake and they feel kind of cheap. Okay, so there we have it for the earphones. And then inside of the box here, let's see what else we have. We have the USB cable. Now the USB cable are also wrapped differently. You guys can see that right here. Okay, they're not the same whatsoever. All right guys, so here we have both of the devices right now side by side. And of course I have completed the setup on both of them. This is the real Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus from T-Mobile. Now in this particular case, it is really easy to know which one is fake, which one is real by just looking at the cameras and also knowing that, well, the fake one, the Samsung logo just faded off. So there's nothing here. So this one is really easy to spot, but just look guys at how close they were in the design. The cameras were almost identical in terms of what they were going to be. So they must have had the sketch or a dummy phone in order to create this replica because they are identical. Now, keep in mind, guys, that I'll keep repeating it over and over. This replica was released before the announcement of the original Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So this is quite amazing how close they got this time, even here from the boxes, as we just saw. But then here on the right side of the phones, the only difference here is that, well, the power key is located slightly lower than on the real Samsung Galaxy uh, S9 Plus, as we can tell. But now on the other side here, where the volume rockers are located, they are quite similar. We can see it right there. They are actually almost identical. And the thickness here on the fake one is a little bit more than on the uh, original Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. And then here on the bottom side, very nice. We can see the only thing they miss here is the grill for the uh, loudspeaker. We can tell that it is a little bit different from the um, real Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the USB Type-C's are actually aligning perfectly well together with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks. On the top here, we have the SIM trays. They are aligning perfectly well, including the antennas. And then on the front here is where everything is a little bit different in my opinion. So again, um, the Galaxy S9 Plus from T-Mobile has more screen and less bezel. So the screen to body ratio is about 84%. Unfortunately, that's not something that we can say here from the first replica. This one has about, I will have to guess maybe 75% uh, screen to body ratio. So yes, we have more bezels on this device. That's because we have a smaller screen. If I'm not mistaken, this one is a 5.9 inch. And the real one is a 6.2 inch because I have the plus model. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Maybe they mix it up a little bit with the uh, Galaxy S9, but then they added the S9 Plus cameras on the backside. I'm not sure if that's what they did. But when we compare here the bodies, we can see that they are actually identical. We can see they have the same length. So I don't think that was the case. And even the width here is exactly the same as well. So that doesn't change. So now what we're going to do next here, guys, is go ahead and turn both of them on and don't expect the fake one to win. Unfortunately, guys, I mean, it is obvious that this is the more powerful device here. It's actually the real one. And the difference I noticed is that this one says secure by Knox and this one does not say it. So other than that, the boot animations are very, very similar. So this one already booted up and we are running the Snapdragon 845 on this one. And it comes with six gigabytes of RAM now and 64 gigabytes of internal memory. Now here from the last screens, we can notice how the time and the dates are also very, very similar. On this one, if I press the button here on the bottom or the version button, we can see how it gives us a very similar uh, look here on the bottom side where all the apps are located. We can actually see it right there. These two apps are very, very close. So let me go ahead and show you guys that one more time. All right, so they were able to replicate it very, very nicely. So here, let me go ahead and enter my pattern real quick. And here we have it, guys. Right now, this phone is currently restoring everything that I had on my previous Samsung Galaxy S8. So it's going to make a lot of sounds. There we go. Let me just go ahead and mute that for a second. So anyways, here we have the app drawers. It's the same thing. We slide up and it'll show it, of course, on the fake one is, um, I would say, very laggy. And this is expected, guys. I already did the unboxing and the hands-on of this device. If you guys haven't seen the video, I would definitely suggest that you guys do it because I provide a little bit more details in terms of how you know the whole system operates. But here we're just doing a brief comparison. 
Now here, let me go ahead and check real quick all the toggles and compare them. You guys can tell that, well, this one, they are a little smaller on the real one. On the fake one, they are a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and check here the settings. And this is where everything changes quite dramatic. As a matter of fact, I think that these are the same settings that we saw in the Samsung Galaxy S8 fake. So nothing has changed here much. And yes, on the real one, we have a whole lot more settings. Now keep in mind guys that this thing is an absolute monster. It is probably the most powerful Android phone out there in the market. So yes, they don't compare exactly the same in terms of functionality. This one only carries one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of internal memory. And also we can notice how, again, the screens are not the same size. This one has a bigger chin than on the real one. So yes, they're not one to one. But again, guys, it is really impressive and you cannot deny the fact that, well, the Chinese did a great job trying to copy it before the release date. So all in all, guys, I have to give the Chinese a lot of credits for creating these replicas. They are very, very cool and they give us a hint of what the original one is going to look like before, you know, the release time. And I think that's absolutely amazing. I do appreciate it. And I'm also looking forward to that big replica that is about to come out. And also, guys, don't forget that I'm testing a lot of phones. Right now here, I have the Smartisan Nut Pro 2. This is a very nice device that comes with the Snapdragon 660. It is definitely a performer. It does have some software issues right now. I won't lie to you. But they are, in my opinion, sort of minor. I mean, I'm not having that big lag that other YouTubers are talking about. Mine did lag at the beginning, but now everything seems to be smoothing out a little bit. I'll be providing the unboxing and of course the review or the semi review very shortly. So make sure that you guys stay tuned to the channel. And also don't forget about the giveaway guys. All you have to do is comment below, subscribe to my channel, like and share, and you will be eligible for the M Horse Pure 2. So now guys, with all of this being said, we have now successfully completed here the unboxing and the comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the fake one. So if you guys have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. Please like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on my next one.